Welcome to SQL Server News Hour. This is Buck Woody, Microsoft's Real World DBA, here tonight with noted security expert Il Sung Lee. Now, Il Sung, there's been quite a lot of features that have been put into SQL Server since 2008 that have helped security, but the one I'm hearing a lot about is SQL Server Audit. Tell us a little bit about this feature. Yeah, Buck. I mean, SQL Server Audit has been a great feature that we introduced because it really helps a lot of customers with a lot of different business needs. Now, security and compliance is a big topic these days, and especially in the compliance market, people have a real dis distinct need to be able to audit all the activity that occurs in their database. Now, in 2008, we introduced a new audit feature that actually kind of takes over where SQL Trace used to mm. you know, fill the gap in the mm. previous releases. And with SQL Server Audit, we actually allow you to do a lot of different things, such as, you know, action, audit all the different activity that occurs in your database, um, all the way from, um, you know, the server level down to the granular database level. So both the server can be audited, things that are happening on the server and things that are happening in the database. Do I have to do both or can they be kept separate? You can do whatever you like. You can audit things at the server level, like mm. all the logins, mm. logouts, or you can actually go down to the database level and say that I want to I want to monitor whenever Buck does a select on this table because I don't trust Buck. Even the select it's not really statement. Honest. <laughs> yeah. Even the select statement. Correct. Even the select statement, or if you're not that interested in selects, you're only interested when someone modifies the data. Mm. You can actually do it for deletes, inserts, updates. Ah, I see. And keep that information. Now, when you get get this information collected, yeah. You can send it to a file, okay. and we actually leverage a high-performing eventing infrastructure, XEvents, that allows you to actually send the information to the file, file system very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Or if you want, you can send to the Windows application log or to the Windows security log. Now, why would I choose one of those over the other? Why not just always send it to the application log? Well, the application log gives you kind of very easy access where it's already formatted mm -hmm. and you can actually get mm -hmm. access to that audit information really right. quickly. The security log is actually the so-called tamper-proof log that Windows mm. provides. And so if I want to set up an audit that, for example, monitors all my DBA access to a particular table, or if I want to monitor whenever someone modifies any audits on my SQL Server instance, then I can set that up and send that to the security uh, security log so that people can't tamper with it. I see. So it's got a higher level of restriction, even though it's still using the Windows event logs. The security event log is treated slightly different, is that right? That's correct. Awesome. And with SQL Server 2008, I can actually set up multiple audits as well. So I can set ah. up an audit that monitors things like all the activity against a table. I see. But I can set up another audit that's more restricted, and this monitors specific DBA activity. Interesting. So I could send one to one place and one to the other, you're correct. saying? Correct. And they're, they're completely independent. Wonderful. Now, how, how much overhead does this take? You know, it really depends on uh, what you're doing. So obviously, the more you audit, the more the more uh, performance hit you're going right, to take. Right, makes sense. Uh, if you send to a file, that's faster than sending to the Windows Windows logs. Interesting. But our benchmarks have shown us that compared to a comparable trace, for example, uh, SQL Server Audit performs much faster. It's typically between 11 to about 45 percent faster. Wow. But that's in the worst case scenario where we turn right. on everything, where we turn on all the audits. Now, because in 2008 with the audit feature, you can actually target what you want to audit, you can actually reduce the scope to exactly what you want, thereby reducing the number of audit events generated and the amount of space that you fill up on your file system. So it takes careful planning is what you're saying. Yes, it does. Great feature. Well, anything else you can tell us about this feature, the ways that you've seen people use this or the places you've seen it put into place? I've, I've actually heard of someone saying that you can actually use SQL Server Audit as a way of doing, doing chargebacks to monitor how much activity that's going on in your SQL Server instance. And then wow then charge based on that. That's interesting. So compliance and visibility into the activity of your server. That's a great Absolutely. feature. Well, that's fantastic. Well, there you have it, folks. SQL Server expert Il Sung Lee telling us about SQL Server Audit. This is Buck Woody, Microsoft's Real World DBA, signing off. See you next time.